as low as 600 shillings per year. We know death can occur at any time, and that is why we will process all the claims within 48 hours. With the DTB last expense, you can cover up to five nuclear family members, including parents and parents-in-law. Guys, unajua kikula super moja utakuwa na super powers? Let me try. Jamini. Wow. Ah! Indomie, now available in chicken, beef, and super mojo. Super mojo, Jamini. That was not my fault. No. Breaking news from Molfix. Let's see what they're developing right now. Morphix pants with anatomic fit technology. New Morphix pants, an invention from babies for babies. You should also try Morphix. For a better tomorrow, don't forget to do the 1, 2, 3 with Colgate every night. Welcome back to the broadcast. The Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government has ordered the freezing of accounts and properties of nine individuals and entities suspected of funding terrorism in Kenya. The list of nine was published by the Interior Ministry in a statement signed by CS Fred Matiangi. The government describes terrorism as the single biggest threat to global peace and security. The government has also declared its unrelenting pursuit to confront the threats, among them recruitment to violent extremism and radicalization, head on. Now, children's officers in Machakos County have intercepted a middle-aged woman suspected of child trafficking. The suspect, identified as Tina Mulinge, had reportedly made a deal with the mother of the child to buy the baby for 1,000 Kenya shillings. DCI officers have begun a probe into the suspected deal. The baby is now under the care of the children's department, while the two women involved in the transaction have been detained awaiting court charges. Another five-year-old girl has also been rescued from the same suspect awaiting investigations and has been taken to the Machakos Rescue Center. Now, because I am in Mambo Mapia, ya kwamba watu wana collude, na vitu zina happen, na we uko hapo, you think this is your child, na there is a story behind it. So as a department, we are going to protect those children to get directions from the court. Certainly a story we will be keeping close tabs on. Do stay with us. Uh, Watson Karuma has the sports news up next. From far with you, mm. I even gifted you a magnificent house. Hmm. Rosa, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Please help me. When it comes to fever, you need to be both. Panadol Baby and Infant starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Panadol Baby and Infant, tough on fever, gentle on your child. <laughs> Let me try. Jamini. Wow. Indomie, now available in chicken, beef, and super mojo. Jamini. It is true. We have been in business for over 20 years now, empowering Kenyans to own ideal and genuine properties. 
And yes, the biggest and the best urban residential development in Kiambu, a money rich the place of peace, is taking shape. Let us show you what we have been up to. The Solomonic Gate is complete. The intelligent fountain of peace is up and running. The stone perimeter wall is complete, fully enhanced with razor wire for your security. The 100,000 litre capacity water tank is coming up. We also have the house designs and the title deeds for every plot. Invest in value. Call us today on 0790 300 300 or visit us at www.optiven.co.ke. When you buy a bar of Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate, you can help change the story. That's because we will use part of the proceeds to donate milk to less fortunate children across our beautiful country. Let us come together and show the generous spirit that is inside of all of us. Cadbury Dairy Milk. There's a glass and a half in everyone. Welcome to NTV Sport, I'm Watson Karuma. Now, former Commonwealth Games 5000 meters champion Masi Cherono has resumed training after her planned comeback from maternity leave was forestalled by the COVID-19 pandemic. Cherono, who has since shifted her training from Kericho to Kapsabet in Nandi County and Eldoret in Wasingishu County, is optimistic ahead of the new season proper. <laughs> We were really focused for the Olympic Games and and it was just unfortunate that we the corona came up and disturbed us like it disturbed everything that all our plans that uh, for even the training we could not even concentrate more but now the the season has already also started it has come back so we are also energetic to move on and uh, focus for the Olympic also next year and also the cross country. Now, marathon world record holder Eliud Kipchoge surely is a man of many hearts. Well, today Kipchoge was all about books despite his busy training schedule. He received a consignment of books from the sports cabinet secretary, that is Amina Mohammed, at his training camp in Kaptagat, Elgeo, Marakwet County. He is now urging athletes to keep busy during the COVID-19 pandemic by reading. I'm promising a, a CS moment that... Uh, We'll get the knowledge from these books and news in as far as uh, sports concerned and news the knowledge we are getting here to build our, our lovely country, Kenya. Last year, before he participated in the Ineos 159, of which he successfully completed, the CS Amina Mohammed EGH was here and I did accompany her and she made a promise that she would give Eliud um, a donation of various books now athletics talent should be identified and nurtured from primary school level by encouraging the children to run for fun this is according to barnabas kitilit who is the secretary of the ak youth development committee kitilit was speaking in nyahururu where he distributed food to junior runners from camps around nyahururu town in laikipia county there should be identification at primary and simple nurturing, uh, uh, the coaches, the teachers can be, if teachers can be assisted to work with Athletics Kenya, so that they assist the children to just run for fun, compete in school competition, then when they go to high school, they are now subjected to training. They are accessed to this program that we are running now, that the ministry is, has brought up, where we are supporting the young athletes. My take is they should uh, concentrate on school children. The school children are bec become more productive, faster, than um, those who are finished school. Very many parents say, watch them to asome. Let the child go to school first. But to me, the two can go side by side. And that is why I am, I am missing school now. And I've decided to make my home a boarding school for the day schools. Some tennis news now. And six-time winner Serena Williams powered past 96th ranked Christy Ann 7563 as she started the latest bid of her protracted 
pursuit to match Margaret Court's Grand Slam title with a straight sets win at Flushing Middles. The 38-year-old overcame the loss of her first service game in the opening set to advance at a virtually empty Ava Ash Stadium where artwork by black artists is displayed in honor of the Black Lives Matter movement against racial justice. It has been more than three years since Williams won her 23rd Grand Slam title at the 2017 Australian Open when she was already pregnant with daughter Olympia. A title win for Williams would also see her become the most decorated women's player at the US Open in the modern era. She is currently tied with Chris Evert on six. In straight sets, seven five six three. Well, that does it for NTV Sport. Thank you very much for your time. Have a lovely night. You have been watching NTV tonight, and that's all we've got for you. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'm Smriti Vidyarthi. I'll see you again tomorrow at 9 p.m. In the meantime, have yourselves a great night and do keep safe. Bye bye. This is NTV. I help women find independence by training them in fish farm. Oh, it's tough on my back, joints, and can cause headaches. Panadol Extra relieves multiple types of pain. If symptoms persist, seek medical advice.